to another episode of Cocktail Party. I'm Miss V McPherson. I'm Miss Nostalgia McPherson. And today we have a very special sort of episode for you today, a new sort of little segment. Um, we're actually going to be doing Cocktail Party Classic. So we're going to make a classic cocktail for you that maybe you've heard of or uh, wanted to try but never got the opportunity to do so. Um, so we can actually show you how to make it in your own home. Sounds good to me. Right. <laughs> so today's cocktail is actually going to be Sex on the Beach. Ooh, wow. Sure, a lot of people have heard that. Um, it's a pretty you know, popular, popular drink. you know, <laughs> cocktail. Um, its origins are a little shaky. No one actually knows where it came from. It just showed up one day. It's behind <laughs> us. Somebody was at the bar and said, hmm, I think I'll have a sex, sex on, on the beach. beach. So the story goes was there's this bartender named Ted in Florida. And this is like in 1987. And they of wanted to in the 80s. It's their favorite era. It <laughs> is. It is. So he was supposed <laughs> to sell um, a bunch of like peach schnapps like drinks. Um, and so he invented this cocktail to sell it to the tourists, the spring breakers and things like that that were coming out who would totally go for a drink called Sex on the Beach. Exactly, because what um, sex sells. sells. Exactly. <laughs> so, but that's the story. But then there's supposedly like these books that were dated back to like 1982. So that years, you know, a few years before 1987 that have this recipe in it. So, some people are saying that he didn't invent it, that someone else did, um, and they pretty much just took like a Cape Cotter and a um, fuzzy navel and put them together and oh. made a sex on the beach. Huh. So, who yeah. knows where it came from. Invented. Right. <laughs> um, Almost as crafty as we are. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, either way, I think it's going to be a fun summer drink because um, it is July right now. So. It's kind of like fruity and just like me. delicious <laughs> and very, very summertime. So, Miss Nostalgia, how about you tell everyone out there what goes in sex on the beach? I got you. So, we've got some vodka, one of my favorite alcohols. Right. <laughs> I love Tito's. So. Right. Um, some peach schnapps. Schnapps. Some orange juice. Some cranberry juice, some lemon juice, uh, for a little bit of cherries. I like, I like machino cherries too, oh, yeah. more than right, like regular cherries, so that's why I got those. Oh, They're sweeter. Fancy. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't have, I mean, it's not a lot of um, ingredients really. Couple juices, couple liquors, easy. All this, which you can, I literally got all this at um, a liquor store, like uh, down the street. Like one, it was one trip and go. One trip. And so <laughs> that was good. Except the cherries. I did have to get the cherries from um, this like grocery store. Could but imagine. <laughs> <laughs> if they just had those in there. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. Like some of the bigger ones um, um, yeah. would definitely have, but like little corner store ones That's... are not going to have <laughs> cherries in there. <laughs> in, in the back swamp of East Texas. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, what you'll need to make the drink, um, shaker. I mean, you really don't have to have a shaker, but I do like to use one to mix up the ingredients really well um but you don't have to have this and i do oof, already have my ice in there almost made a mess so there's already ice in there um shot glasses or your boot to measure it with and then just a glass and i went ahead and put ice in it as well um you were prepared with the ice this time yeah you said we're not forgetting yes. the ice today right <laughs> it's kind of a habit of ours to forget the ice so um, but let's get right on into it. Let's get to making it. So I have a little recipe over here, Miss Nostalgia. So, um... Tell me what to pass you. Let's do, um, the vodka first. We're gonna do two ounces of that. So this two. big part here. Two shots of vodka. Right. And fill it all the way up. All the way up there. I like a nice, good, solid. Ooh, it was dripping. I know. Uh -huh. <laughs> a little premature. <laughs> it's a little yeah. excited for our <laughs> So, and then the next ingredient is actually the um, peach schnapps. So we're going to do one ounce of that. One ounce. There we go. Good. Got a tip I it. love peach schnapps too, by the way. It's like one of my favorite things. Let me I tell y'all, we were out in our pool the other day, and this girl right here <laughs> had a whole bottle of peach schnapps just sipping out the bottle. It, it's drinking delicious. The whole bottle. <laughs> it's delicious. I love peach stuff, and peach schnapps are 
I love schnapps in general, except for peppermint. I do not like peppermint schnapps. Once you have thrown up peppermint schnapps and it comes out of your nose, it it's is not a pleasant experience <laughs> afterwards. Ooh. But peach, butterscotch, oh, yeah. all those, yeah. I love schnapps. Love them. Love them. They're, They're the deadly. I mean, they, they sneak they up sneak on you. Yeah. They're actually a lot stronger than you think they would be. Right. You know, for as so, good as they taste. And they taste, yeah, they're like sweet, and you're like, oh, that's a little. This is nothing. <laughs> little drinks. Some but, juice. Yeah, and it's, it's not. <laughs> it's, it's not. <laughs> it's not. Um, so, two ounces of orange juice. Orange juice. Yes. Trying to be better with my pouring girl. Yes. <laughs> Got that in there. That's actually super fun. cute. Um, and then, I uh, believe it's two ounces. Yeah, two ounces of cranberry juice. Cranberry same parts. Two and two. And I just got done saying how I love to put this in the shaker <laughs> to use it, and I didn't do that. Um, so mm, you don't have to. You don't have to. Like I said, you don't have to. I actually kind of like this. Kind of makes it like a nice little sunset. Right. And so, that's what I love about our show. We have options. Right. Options. <laughs> Choices. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot like drag. You mess up, just roll with it. Right. You know. <laughs> just keep going. It's all about the recovery. <laughs> that's how you're a true rat queen. Yes. Right. And his little um, lemon juice. Lemon real juice. Quick. Um, I think I said like. A certain measurement on it, but I'm just gonna do a just splash. Do some, some squirts. It was like I don't know, it was like a <laughs> teaspoon or something, but I'm just gonna do a couple of squirts in there. Ooh, I like that. I like a couple of squirts. And then yeah. I'm gonna try to get these two little cherries out of here with these gloves, but it's working. There we go. Oh, looky there. Yeah, and that professional is it. That's really it. It's the at Sex on the Beach. Oh, done. And how much do we, do we pay for these at the bar? $15? I don't really know how much they are. Make this at my house? And yeah, because this <laughs> wasn't that, you know, it wasn't that expensive to get. So, it, a really simple drink. And I'm super excited to taste it because it looks like it's going to be delicious. Right. Love cranberry juice. I love orange juice. This is, this has, Vodka, all, it has all the ingredients that you're about. Has, this is, this is my drink. This is, <laughs> it was just, made for you. Right. It discovered really in the 80s. They should just name this oh. the V. McPherson. Call it a day. Done. It's a summer drink. Love summer. My favorite. I almost said holiday. <laughs> it's summer on holiday. <laughs> my favorite season. <laughs> so, um, that's it, guys, though. That's how you make sex on the beach. And we're going to get Miss Nostalgia her drink made real quick and come back for Taste It. Hi, and welcome back for Taste It. So, we have our Sex on the Beaches made. Miss Nostalgia's is done, mine is done, and we are gonna jump right in and taste this and tell you what we think. It's killing me. <laughs> so, cheers. Happy summer. <laughs> oh my goodness. I like it. It tastes like pineapple upside down cake almost, I think. I like definitely that. get, it's funny that the, there's more vodka in it than there is peach schnapps, but the peach schnapps is definitely what you taste. Right. For me. Yeah. Like I immediately tasted the peach schnapps. Um, and then I think after that, I really tasted the cranberry. Like those two stuck out the most to me. Um, I guess the orange juice really doesn't have a whole lot of flavor in it, but it's, it's still pretty good. It's mm -hmm. very, it's very refreshing. This is definitely a summertime drink. Mm -hmm. It tastes like a summertime drink. It does. It tastes like sex on the beach. <laughs> um, it, it's, it's refreshing though. It's not like heavy or like harsh. It's like fruity. It's summer. I like it. Right. I like it a lot. Yeah. Well, There's not a big, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Cow to it. It's yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's soft it's and delicate subtle. like me. Like, like this pretty flower yeah, over here. <laughs> so subtle. <laughs> Such a lady. <laughs> Um, no. but what would you grade it? What's your grade? Um, I think it's an A because it's easy and it's delicious. It's a classic. And it's a classic. It's iconic. <laughs> um, I'm right there with you. I would say an A. Like I said, it has every ingredient that I love in general and then in a cocktail, yes. 
Um, and then I was, the summary, it's, it just has me written all over it. Like, it's an A for me, for that's, sure. That's why I was expecting you to say, like, A++++. Plus, 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 plus. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to go as far as say A++, because plus, plus, it is a little simple. Yeah. It is a little simple. Yeah. But it's a classic. I mean, most of these cocktail classics they're, that we're, that we'll do in the future and stuff as well, they're, they're very simple to make. Um, cause they're something that people make a lot in the bars and restaurants and stuff like that. So you don't you want keep 50, going. 50 <laughs> damn ingredients in it. You want it to be simple and good to the point. And got to get that turnover for that money girl. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm giving it an eight for sure. Um, it, it, it's good. And like you said, it's easy to make. I don't see any any downfalls for it. Um, I could drink this all day by the pool. <laughs> I'm all sure day. you will. <laughs> now that we have the ingredients. Right, I'll probably want to make this <laughs> soon. This, this bottle of schnapps is going to be gone. Gone. Just, <laughs> I'm just going to have to carry it around me <laughs> in my purse and just drink it as a, as a walk around town. <sighs> just pull my little mask down. And little baby <laughs> bottle. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. That is it. We definitely love this cocktail. I think you should try it at home. Um, you, there, there's not a whole lot to do right now. Everyone's still quarantining or, or trying to social distance and stuff. So why not get drunk at home with a simple, easy cocktail for the summer? <laughs> Sounds like a good time to me. Right. Um, but of course, be sure to subscribe to our uh, channel here, this YouTube channel, Simply McPherson. Um, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram as well. Um, Simply McPherson, it's all one word on all the platforms. Um, and uh, we should have another fun episode coming up soon for you. Um, I think it's I think it's gonna be a good time. Um, it, it's it's something that's very dear to Miss Nostalgia here. Oh, she's a, yeah <laughs> yes. I'm excited. Yeah, so um, I think it's gonna be a, a fun a fun time. So hope everyone stays safe out there. You know, wear your mask, stay cool and hydrated, um, and we'll see you right here next time on. Cocktail party. party.